Welcome yeah, to let me let me Welcome to session one, I guess then. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Yay! I, I'm actually gonna try to rate you just so I can host you real quick. Give okay. me a second. Oh no. I'm not sure I'm not sure if that works though. Oh Fine. Yeah, yeah, Chef, yeah. and I am I am putting you over there. It's proof of concept. Proof of concept. Oh that, it actually does work. I just start streaming when I go red. <laughs> Ooh. All of a sudden, okay. there's immense amounts um, of pressure on me to performing well on this, otherwise... Don't worry, don't worry, you have a pretty good yeah. DM, not unlike Sinti. Okay, <sighs> yeah, better not DM. fuck this up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every, everybody draws their Jesus. knives and weapons at me oh like... Oh my god, that's been a raid. Raiding? Poggers? Hunt, Hunt will be bad cop, I'll be good cop. You do your best and try your best, and he'll, he'll be really strict. Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, okay, okay. So one thing for for the I guess for the streamers, not for streamers, for the viewers, is everything good? Is there something maybe you know crackling, just getting destroyed, burning? Do you do you see smoke? Do you smell burnt toast? Does it work? Yeah, but not saying that ears are being destroyed, so I think that's good. That's a good start. I'm not sure if it works. Not that I see. Let's go. If oh boy. It works what? Huh? Yeah, we, to, uh, to make sure the right works for hosting. No, 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 not right. Well, it works for hosting because. Uh... Wait, let me, let me, let me look it up. No, no, no. I'm I more. I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking. Is like the volume, the quality of you know everybody's mic. Is everything that sort of thing good? Yeah. From viewers perspective, so far so good. Very good. Oh God, session <laughs> one. Oh God. No. Let's go. Beginnings are always the most interesting. So, I'm gonna ask one simple question that all of you heard the first time from me, and then you're gonna hear it every single week from now. Yeah. Are you ready to begin? Yeah. Yeah. I guess I have a male now. I'm a male now. I have a dick. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. So what you're saying is I should and stop that playing Terraria. Segue, uh, let's go. <laughs> okay. You should have stopped playing Terraria a while ago. Okay, okay. Give me a second. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh my god. As soon as soon as I want to start, there's a phone call. <laughs> no. Just no. Ignore it. Oh, I'm too I... quiet. I'm I'm gonna get closer to my mic then. Okay, okay. I'm quiet? I'm already as closer to my mic as I Okay. Okay. Yeah, eat the mic. Eat. I'm gonna eat the oh, mic. The oh, oh my like like ah. it? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, you say your stuff. I'm gonna answer because it's falling over. Oh and my over. god. <laughs> Scarf. Great start. Wait, maple. By, I love Scarf. By the by the way, uh, maple. Yeah. I also have 19 charisma. <laughs> oh wait, I only have 18. I decided to re rejig my stats. Oh, oh god, oh, I'm god. lost. No. Team. Yeah, the, the difference is that I am, uh, my, my, my thing is, I'm, I'm, I don't talk much. <laughs> oh, wait, no, same. <laughs> oh, so yeah, we're, both on we're both high charisma characters I, who are uh, awkward. I, I, I just why, look why pretty. Are, why, are all this, why, why are all high charisma characters that I've ever seen in my life the people that don't want to talk at all? No, no, I want to talk. My guy's just, he, he will be shy. The irony Mine is, is my character shy. has zero charisma. Oh, no. Wait, what? Oh my god. My, my character has I just zero look charisma. Pretty. I just look I'm pretty. a very charismatic blob. <laughs> I well, doubt. not very, but I, I am I'm above average charismatic for a blob. Question, yeah. can you take every shape and form? Uh, well, somewhat. I can be a blob and I can do limbs. Oh. But <gasps> not like every shape. But I can choose my limbs. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Wait. What? What, does, what does that? What does that kind of voice? Oh, wait. Oh, you're not thinking what I think you're thinking. I, I'm not. Okay. No. So, um, <laughs> if not incapacitated, I can reshape my body to give myself a head, one or two arms, one or two legs, and makeshift hands and feet, or revert to a lim limbless blob. Also, I can uh, have an extra yeah, but... tentacle on top of that. Yeah. Oh my fucking god! Wow. Talk about the timing of all 
for one call to another. Okay. Okay. Okay, we we good. We good. We good. That's that's that what honestly that honestly happened like four times every single session when I start. No. Yeah, there's a call. It's like, are it's you okay. sure? Are you sure? Okay. So we're to Okay, so yes, yes, yes. So <laughs> our story begins at year two seven uh two seven seven of the fifth age of the shattering. Where maybe, maybe the... I should take some notes, man. Oh yeah. Oh don't worry. I'll, no, I'll... my character won't remember that anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh there'll be a VOD, right? Hmm. Yes, oh, yeah. there are, there, there will be a there will be a wad, yes, and there will be in my YouTube. Do, do we get handouts after the lecture? Is this is this all in the exam or? No, no, no. It's it's. Don't worry. You, you know this basic knowledge. So can I just quickly say, like randomly, I like how how Cynthia's character sw the eyes switch like places when she's talking. Okay. Yes, I love it as well. <laughs> okay. If I'm not talking, I just forget where my eyes should be, and it's like, woo. <laughs> okay, so, so year 277, fifth era, the start of summer, as the empire needs fresh blood, a call to arms, a recruitment drive for the brave and the bold, the adventurers seeking glory and fame. From each individual persons that have gathered around to this cart you all came from all walks of life you have your own stories to tell and some stories that you will do that may have been written in the annals of history or be forgotten with your rotting corpses somewhere down the road so the story begins at june 3rd earliest in the mornings as valentine you you knew what is gonna go down in alask you know about the recruitment drive you were prepared this from the get-go and you know what you need to do you waited patiently you went to alask and got yourself the card number of 22 as you are told to wait until everybody else gathers to the cart for you to leave towards Eek. Going towards the cart, you see a halfling, maybe in his 40s, tending to a handful of horses and this shoddy cart wagon hybrid gives a wave to you on your horse and kind of gives a nod. You hear for the journey towards Zeke. Val Valentine? Val yeah, Valentine. I'm sorry. Go, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I was still, I was listening. Say that one more time. Okay. So Hello. you Hello. are you are the first to approach the car because you knew this from weeks before in advance and as you approach the cart there's a happening that is tending to the horses attached to the cart and he just asks you are you here for the journey towards eek i hope so it doesn't look like this thing's going to take us all the way there oh no 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 this he taps the bag and you can hear cracks of uh, old dusty boards creaking this thing will take you there easily with no stops <laughs> hopefully it'll be faster than me walking well, i mean you got a horse so you can use your horse it's an old girl though mostly sentimental value uh, well have it your case uh, i guess we have to wait until others show up i was told there are you kind of check something in his pockets and you see pockets are torn from the bottom and clearly nothing would be held in them Eh, more will come i hope somewhere moments after <laughs> recipitra you 
had a very nice journey with your pal by the name of David. I used to be Gar, now I want to be adventurer. Did you split paths as you went somewhere towards west? While you got the number 23 for the cart. And you find the cart. And you see... I guess Valentine, how would you describe it? How would you look? I am wearing a long red leather coat. Covered in baubles and chains and all kinds of... Very shiny, very fancy things. I'm wearing a gleaming silver helmet with an unusually long red plume. I look, I look extremely wealthy. And probably very out of place. Are you? Uh, so yeah. Uh, Recipitra, um. yeah. You see this individual and you see this old haggard halfling talking about something. I, uh, seem to, uh, not find anything wrong with his outfit, and I just, uh, approach him as casual as, uh, slime can be. <laughs> and, uh, hold out my hands in front of me as if I were to defend myself, and extend a third tendril from my body that uh, waves at them, and I'm like, Hello, I'm Ritzel Petra. What's your name? Oh I look down at what I assume is, um, a monster, and I try to collect myself. Take a deep breath, and I say, I am Valentine, and, uh, what are you? Well, I am, I'm traveling. <laughs> That's <not who> you <laughs> are. <laughs> I keep my hand to myself, and I look down, and I say, well, are you traveling with me? Depends. Are you traveling on that cart over there? Uh, unfortunately. And we're traveling together. Hmm. You I suppose decide. I'll just have to get used to it. <laughs> okay. As, as you're having this discussion, Baron, you've been escorted with a handful of people from Ash Baskets to here. Hmm. Uh, you were given, of course, the number 23. You were told to go to the cart. And, of course, um, your escort, before you even entered the office to sign up, they basically left you saying their farewells and blessings <laughs> for your journey. Okay. Uh, so I see. I, I'm walking up to both of them. Yes. Yeah. Uh,. Is is this the cart to to Ak? This is indeed the cart. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. I uh, I repeat the gesture from before and uh, uh, just repeat. I'm Retsa Petra. Uh, hi. Um, I didn't know slimes could talk. I didn't want to hurt people. Huh. Well, I can at least talk. And uh, Wait, uh, that smiles at you with a very <laughs> wide smile. I... Oh. Imagine like it's dripping out of the mouth, like... <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, I'm Farron. Um, I turn to Valentine. Uh, what's your name? Valentine. Oh, um, I'm guessing you're also on, on, on this uh, traveling to Ek. I am indeed. Oh, it's it's good to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you as well. I love meeting new people. Speaking about yeah. meeting new people, Dionea, haphazardly and a bit bittersweetly, you say goodbye to Seb as you get your number of 23, and he politely points at the cart kind of making sure that you make your um, a path towards there and you don't run into a random direction. And before you halfway through the walking distance from the cart to the cart, you look back at Seb and he's nowhere to be seen. Alright, I guess I turn back to the cart. 
look at everyone standing around, and I scurry my way over there, and I decide to go sit in the cart without saying anything to anybody. The ha halfling, oh, the halfling just got on the looks who's standing for the horses. Wait, 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 this is no... And then looks at you, um, Dania, looks at the number that you're holding in your hand, takes an odd. Well, that's four. That's usually how much I take. Is there any more? He kind of scratches his head in confusion. Retsufitra um, uh, screams back at uh, them for the entire way they are walking, <laughs> apparently thinking this to be some kind of greeting. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Wait, I say to the halfling, wait, are we allowed to get onto the carriage? Uh, uh, the halfling just exclaims, well, yes, you, you, that's 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 why I'm here. You get on and I bring you to Eek and then I go away and that's how things go. Oh, everyone was standing outside, so I thought we were, we were waiting for something. I mean, I'm waiting for <laughs> more people. Are we not traveling on this cart? I just say. <laughs> that's a fair point. And uh, I, uh, like, blob over to the cart. <laughs> <laughs> And mm, yeah, I get onto the car. As people are getting on the cart, Ural, you're yeah. the final person who sees the number of 23 that matches your uh, number on the paper. And you see people one by one are slowly getting on. Also, just a question where do you keep the lantern? That's a good question. I still don't know. <laughs> I, I guess I just like. Because I think they already get on the car cart that's like already like I'm late, so I kind of don't think about it. So I have it like in my I have it at, like I hold it at the chain, uh -huh. like I I walk a, a little bit more speedy to the cart. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, yeah, as you as you are you walking fast and towards the cart, all of you what 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 do they see in Euro besides this very nice small lantern made of silver but no flame on it? In it, I guess. Wait. Yeah. Maybe. Describe yourself. How would uh, you? Yeah. So, I would describe myself. Uh, uh, I'm very tall. <laughs> oh. I'm pretty. I'm pretty tall. Like, uh, 180 centimeters. Yeah. Oh my god. I am tall. Yes. And I, I do have some fine clothing on that I like picked up on my, on my way. Like, that I found, for some reason. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, I have, like, this, like, this... Backpack on my bag that doesn't even fit to my clothes, and this random lantern, like, at the, that I hold at the chains. And, like, I step with one foot into the cart, and be, uh, look around this... Interesting bunch of people! <laughs> and I'm like, am I late? No, no, we still have space. Is that a snack? And uh, Tendril points at the uh, lantern. Oh, no, 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 no. That is nothing to eat, miss. Sir, miss. Yeah? <laughs> so, what are you hungry? It for, then? Again? Come again? I, I, uh, I, 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 I mean, I like food. Are you saying that you're hungry? Yes? Okay, I pull a ring out of my pocket, and I put it on my hand, and I produce a biscuit. And Ooh. I offer it to one of my companions. Yeah, with a soft puff, there's a small biscuit. In oh, wow. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I, get, I get on the card, I... To, is it like how tall like how tall is the card so i uh, like, know how to sque squeeze myself in because i'm uh, tall <laughs> well the card from from the back it's um it's about like two feet tall and to the very well to the very top it's like seven feet it's basically a low entry point so you can just you know step on it yeah just... okay I, I i just take a seed to, 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 uh, yeah uh -huh. Put the lantern on my lap and be mm -hmm. like, uh, Game. Oh. Hi! <laughs> uh, why, why do you do that? Uh, 
the uh, tendril that uh, greeted you retracts and instead uh, extends towards the uh, biscuit, um, sloping it up and uh, seeming very happy about it as uh, <laughs> it's the Fetra's entire body then uh, flows uh, over to the uh, bench next to uh, Dionea and uh, just uh, sits next to her now. Him? Oh, I don't think me and Dianaya have described ourselves, have we? Like, appearance. Oh, stuff. yeah, I guess I have it. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you can go first, I don't mind. Oh, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Um, Dionia is a tiefling. She has light, pale, pinkish skin and black hair. Um, but since she's an outsider and kind of nervous about her appearance, she wears a crude wooden mask that she carved herself. She has a stitched up witch hat and a cloak that covers most of her body and her tail. And um, you mostly can only see the yellow glint of her eyes through her mask. Oh. Yeah. Well, uh, Ritzefita seems to be uh, very happy with you and uh, <laughs> squeezes uh, itself next to you on the bench. <laughs> um, Random question, like, uh, is your, like, if, you, if I would touch you, is it like wet? Or is it like jello slime? What's the consistency, yeah. Yeah, what's the consistency? <laughs> um, I would say it's more of like a jello that can harden if I wanted to. So uh, uh, I don't leave any like wet traces or something. Yeah, okay, okay, good. Good. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, question for Valentine real quick. Would you, like as you had the conversation with the halfling, um, would you actually go on the cart? Like, sit in it, or what's the fate of the horse? You gonna leave it by? <laughs> well, I do like my horse, but also, I, I'm, I'm really curious about riding on this cart. It seems really dangerous and really stupid, and I, I, I kind of want to get on it. So. <laughs> okay. So, as right, maybe, can I, 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 I approach the, I approach the halfling and I ask, yeah. could I tie my horse to the cart? Uh... He kind of looks at it, looks at the horse, looks at his own horses for a bit. Not, yeah, just just make sure that you don't tie it, you know, to the wheels. That could be. It makes sense. Okay. The halfling <laughs> thinks I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I I, I tie the horse to the back of the cart. Okay. Uh. And I. Yeah. I'm gonna hop in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> how much weight does the so so with, with the car yeah, yeah yeah so so let me describe as one by one enter there's soft creaks as usually happens with older wagons as valentine climbs in there's this audible crank as if some boards under the wagon just gave out everything is still stable but every uh, as soon as valentine you step out the halfling just raises his hand as if like to stop all of you Okay, that's enough. No more people. We're heading. If there's anybody else, I'm not taking them. Um, <laughs> Twink! As he kind of exclaims and kind of um, hits his uh, reins uh, to the side and the horses begin to trek. Uh, so, you, you are going for a bit of a journey as you said an earliest of mornings and you're told immediately by this halfling that you didn't ask the name of that you'll be there about <laughs> dusk somewhere around that time so be comfortable enjoy the views or whatnot and looking around just 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 around you see a bunch of farmland as far as i can see in the distances hills with forests on top of them local people attending to the fields feeding and making sure that everything is in order with the fields um so question as there's a lot of time between now and actually reaching your destination is there anything you wish to do in the cart or you know discuss in the cart get um, to know each other um as uh, as we travel yeah um, yeah it's a fit her head like uh, flows on dionea's shoulder and <gasps> it's like oh uh, 
I uh, I forgot to thank you uh, for the tasty biscuit, as you like slowly see it is off inside of her. <laughs> um, yeah, mushroom, and she produces a green cap mushroom from like uh, inside her body and uh, hands it to you. <laughs> but be careful, wow. it's poisonous. Oh my thank God. you. I put it within the folds of my robe. I feel an immediate connection with Rosa Fitra because we are both outsider creatures. So I'm very comfortable with her already. <laughs> I'd like to close my eyes and look down and use my divine sense. Um, I can't remember yeah. Darkness. Of all, all darkness and evil. <laughs> no, no. Uh, so it's like, yeah, because like, he's and he's like kind of shy figuring out stuff so he's like i can kind of get a sense of if these are okay people right? uh well the only sensation you feel is a strong celestial bond the sense of good a purity of light coming from the extinguished lantern in the hero's hands Here. Um, so I I kind of turn to Euro. Um, so what what is that lantern you've got there? Oh, right, you still haven't told us. Oh, uh, oh, I mean, this lantern was given to me, and I if it lights up, it's like a place where. Uh, okay, it's kind of hard to explain. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> but if it lights up. Like it, it is important to me. I need to do stuff if it's light, if it lights up. I wish I had a light that lights up every time I need to do stuff. I always forget things. <laughs> That's not how it works, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, it somewhat like that, but it's more like somewhere where my powers, like. The origin of my powers. Let's just say that. But yeah. While this is going on, I reach into the folds of my robe and pull out a deck of playing cards that are not tarot cards, and I say, "Anybody want their fortune read?" Oh yeah, me, me. What's a fortune? <laughs> Perfect, perfect, excellent. I showingly shuffle the cards, clumsily smashing them together and putting them back, flipping them. I pull out a random card and I stare at it for a second. I said, this card, this means that good. Um, I stare at it a second again. Fortune will come your way if you keep going on your current path. That That's right. And then I put the cards back in my cloak. Oh, I love good fortune coming towards me. Can I eat fortune? I mean, maybe. Mm. Fortune. Anything else you wish to talk, discuss, observe, or interact in this moving wagon of nice view, but very boring and dull from the inside? Um. So, why why are you guys all heading to Egg? I've been told I can get some gold to eat. To... to eat? Yeah! It tastes amazing, you should try it! I don't think I could... I could... Why, why don't you could use the gold to buy things to eat? You can use gold to buy things? What does buy mean? Um, Oh, um, you give. Oh God! You give people gold, and they give you, they give you things. They just yeah. Slime things. does not what understand currency. Uh, like food and all sorts of things. Um, yeah. Uh, books. So, Boys. Do you want to eat? Oh, I like food. Yeah, so you could do that instead of eating the gold. I will be waste. Be honest here. <laughs> anyway, but I would like to like look into the lantern if it lights up on the way, but I don't think it will. Mm -hmm. It's it's cold, 
and lifeless in your hands all the way through the journey. Also, because I don't know what is in my backpack, so I, I want to look into my backpack. <laughs> okay, so what you what you find immediately is a lot of damp um, yet strong rope. You can count maybe 50 feet or so of it. Uh, a few flasks that have been shattered and broken, so there's a lot of glass at the very bottom. A handful, okay. a, a bit of clothing that is just damp. Hey, yeah, damp. And uh, roll me, roll me just a perception check. Perception. Yes. Okay. First roll. First roll. First roll. Oh my god. Uh, Euro is making history by being the first to roll. I, do I want to be the first to roll? Let's see. Hey, wait, let me... It's a d20. 1d20. Wait. Go roll, please. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Was it like that? Wait. Uh, R. <laughs> This? Nice. Oh, yeah, you did it. And, nice. And, yeah. So. But I have like. No uh, modifier. I have like minus one on perception though. Oh, you should you should have did a minus one then on top of but uh, never yeah, yeah, Se yeah, yeah, seventeen. Then, looking at the backpack and getting through, you know, just rope, clothing, and a bunch of broken vials with probably some liquids that have been mixed in the waters that you got it from. And, you know, just kind of looking around and just trying to figure out if there's anything else. You find, kind of stuck in the flaps, a hidden section in the backpack. Something to put for the safekeeping, I guess. And, uh, inside of it, you find, tucked away at the very bottom, uh, two, two coins of platinum. Seven, nice. seven gold coins, and about yeah. twenty silver coins. Twenty silver coins. Yes, and on top of it, uh, besides besides the place also being you know swamped with water, there is a book, a nice uh, leather bounded book with a lock. That it, despite despite being despite being like everything else soaked, the book is in complete dry condition. Damn. Okay. Uh, I check out the book. Like, can I yeah, it, somewhat open it? Uh, you try to open and nudge it, and you realize that it just doesn't. You can't even like nudge the book cover away from the first page or go between the pages roll me an arcana check arcana okay um, okay that should be money Plus? Yes, plus, and uh, whatever your modifier is. Could be five. Yeah, it okay. is five. Well, immediately you realize that this book that doesn't have a title or anything, but just what seems to be locked under a simple a steel lock is magically imbued to some point, seeing that it's the only dry uh, thing in a soaked backpack, and that despite, you know, trying to forcefully nudge to see what's inside of it, the book remains perfectly shut. So it's mm. under some magic effects. Um. Okay, then I, I 
give up for now. I put it back into like this one space where it was. Uh huh. And I close the backpack again. Anybody? And I just chill. Mm -hmm. Anything else from everybody else? I haven't listened to the conversation. Oh, sorry, you first. Oh, I was just saying I haven't described my character. Oh, 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 yeah, you should do that. Yeah. Wait, wait uh, should we all like do it again? Like. Sure, do sure, do it again. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, Let's start with fire, fire, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call out who's gonna describe themselves. Let's go. Okay, fire, and um, he's a half elf, kind of medium left length, kind of messy brown hair. Um, and he's just kind of small and, yeah, anxious looking, small and anxious looking. Uh, he's wearing, but like... But he has, like, thick armor. Uh, he's, so he's wearing, like, robes, like, basically, like, temple robes with, like, a breastplate over it. Uh, that's mm. what, yeah, that's my clothes. And, yeah. Okay, in that case, Ural, describe yourself. Yeah, again, I'm, like, a really tall guy. With tan skin, like white, luminous hair, like beautifully done. <laughs> and I have like not as visible blue markings on my left eye. They like to shine a little bit in the light if it's it if it's it. But other than that I have like fine clothes. I have like a choker because I'm edgy, I think. <laughs> I <And> think. <laughs> And other than that, I have this very uh, shiny silver lantern on my lap while I just try to calm down or chill, whatever. Okay, in that case, uh, let's go with Recifitra. Um, I am I'm a blue blob that uh, <laughs> sometimes uh, has a humanoid shape and sometimes it's just a blob, depending on what I feel like. Could I put you on my shoulder? Like, I brought shoulders, so... Uh, I am a medium creature, so you would have to carry quite a bit. <laughs> oh, sad. I thought you would be like a small blob. <laughs> the Aenea? Yeah, I'm a big blob. I'm Don't be funny, up. though. <laughs> Describe yourself again, you if you want. Uh. Oh, me? Yeah, because everybody wants another oh, okay. take. Let's go. Okay. Uh, Theonia is a tiefling. She has light, pale, pink skin, um, curved horns, and she wears a crude uh, carved mask, a wooden mask that she made herself because she's self-conscious about people seeing her uh, demon features. She has a torn up stitched up a uh, witch hat and some tattered black robes that cover her tail and pretty much her whole body. Okay, in that case, Valentine, again, let's let's hear from the top. I'm a tall... He's the most, uh, he's the most in interesting, I think. I am a tall human fighter. I know. Uh, I wear a long red coat covered in baubles and shiny things, lots of gold chains, silver chains, things like that. I have... Shining silver gauntlets and a glorious shiny silver helmet with an oversized red plume. And this entire trip, I have been staring at uh, quietly at Recifitra and Dionea and just not saying anything. Alrighty. Recifitra doesn't seem to uh, even notice it, like, at all. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, I've got these um, three like glowing tattoos on my left forearm like kind of as like rings around and the tattoos are text i don't know what languages you guys speak but yeah um you could like, like quickly tell but oh yeah, yeah. They're, they're my paladin oaths my paladin tenets what what language are they in Maybe oh yeah. uh oh right celestial oh i can read okay, that, I speak that. okay I, I can read that Mm -mm -mm. So, yeah. anything else you wish to do for the journey, or you wish to skip to actually reaching your destination? I'm gonna sleep. Okay. I, oh, do, I I notice... Notice the do I notice the tattoos? <laughs> like... Yeah, you would. And I try to read them at least partially, because it's probably like around the arm. Yeah, yeah. 
What does it say? What does it say? Oh, right. Um, let me look up what they say. Should <laughs> I just say... Should I just save them in full? Sure. Because she uh, can read them. Also th yeah, if I can read them. Yeah. Okay. It says... Dows, the flame of hope. Rule of an iron fist. Strength above all. Oh. Those are the... Yeah, those are the three tenets. This one says, That would be funny, though. Yeah. So... Yeah, the, the, uh, the angel that tattooed it was just uh, doing a little prank. <laughs> a little bit of trolling. So... But... Baron goes sleeping, whatever, what everybody else is doing for the rest of the journey. Um... That's a um, I, just, uh... oh, yeah. I notice Valentine staring at us intently, and I turn to him and say, "What? You want your fortune read too?" I take a deep breath, and I say, "I'm just. I didn't know that there would be monsters on this trip." There's something oh, what? There are monsters around? Where? There's something against, like, other types of creatures? Who are you calling a monster, anyway? Valentine That's stands up. Uh... And would, would I suddenly standing up cause the cart to adjust in any way? Roll me, roll me, just... Are you, are you doing this without any, like, just stand up without realizing that you're in... Or would you have yes, some... For... Uh, no, I, forgetting that roll, I am in a cart, yeah, I roll me, roll me a detour, hey, let's see how bad it is. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, <laughs> no. oh no. Don't tell me we need to walk. The first one of the Okay, campaign. okay. Roll me dexterity saving throw because as you stand up, all of a sudden, the floorboards, like the floorboard that's holding your entire way just breaks in half. What is going on? Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> He, he was just determined to take so, the so, first so, one and the first net 20. You know what? You know what? I'm going to say this. You you stand up almost like insulted. And as as soon as you give all the way to a single plank, it snaps in half and all of it collapses under the running um, cart into the ground. But you, mid-air, just all of a sudden strike a pose as if a, a noble entitled pose talking to, you know, some some people who don't understand. <laughs> I got this. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the floorboards crack away. underneath me, but I land in such a way that I look completely epic. My cloak has <laughs> billowed in such a way, and I point to the sky and I go, I am of humanity, the only non-monstrous race of these lands, and I demand respect as such. <laughs> Yeah, great job, head. Now we have to walk. I mean, the the is that how you feel about us? Monstrous, I'm monstrous, around. pretty. That's what I am. It's the future is still looking around, looking for where the monsters are. <laughs> calm down, it's, uh, I don't know your name, Blue Bob Blob, but uh, calm down. There are no monsters here. Uh, Farron's oh, like name noticeably is that. You call us monsters, and then you destroy our car. It's because I'm large. I mean, the car the car isn't destroyed. Just one section of the car, one plank that is like two feet by half okay. feet. Just... I thought that it got completely epic. smashed. No, 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 no. Just one plank where he was sitting next, just destroyed. There's many a planks to, to rest okay. your... Yeah. Oh, he just like fell out? No, no, no. He he almost fell out, but he just masterfully just saved himself before. He's big boned. <laughs> uh, uh, by the way, too, when Red Fitra like introduced herself, I was like, "Nice to meet you. I'm Uri. I yeah. Hope to get along." Yes. And like and, I, uh, I, I, I like 
put my hair out, like, for shaking a hand. Hopefully not something weird is gonna happen, right? Right? <laughs> um, uh, Tendril uh, extends and uh, shakes your hand. <laughs> Um, he, he, cringe, he cringes a bit, he's like, yeah, <laughs> he, he, he <laughs> takes his hand back and like, is like, smiling and cringe, and it's like, okay, cool. Uh, so with like, drooping ears, um, I like, turn to Valentine and say, um, Mr. Mr. Valentine, why, why do you feel like that? About, about non-humans? Well, why wouldn't I? What do you mean? Like I, I want to whisper into a, a, a favorite's ear, like maybe he has trauma. Um, uh, there's lots of nice people of all, all species. I don't. Oh, and I'm sure that's true. But until I find out precisely who the enemy of mankind is, I can only assume it is something that is not mankind. Oh. That seems like a logical <laughs> conclusion. It's a Fetra just nods. I show you an artifice like, like out of out of out of country. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, look! One of my parents were the same as yours, so there's no reason to treat me any differently. I will consider this. <laughs> but uh, but we. Yeah. The high intelligence score just leads me to think that that is indeed true. It is a very logical conclusion, after all. <laughs> no, you what your intelligence score is. Oh boy. Hi. Hi. Wait, wait, for real? But you're just, like, so smart that you're stupid? Oh boy. <laughs> no, oh. I, I am smart. I am not experienced. There's a big She's difference. naive, not stupid. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah, okay. So, anything else you wish to do? I'm good. Okay. I get back to Steve. <laughs> Alrighty. So, hours upon hours, time passes, and um, either one or all take a nap, snooze, or just stare into the into the sky or the surrounding areas for painfully long time, as the early sun turns into noon, then slow but surely it falls west and becomes dusk. And then uh, all of a sudden the cart stops and you hear a sharp whistle from the halfling as it turns around and says we're here! As the cart okay. stops. Ah. As the cart um. stops. As the cart stops and you look around to the vicinity, you see that you're in the middle of a dirt road uh, in the midst of uh, people walking up and down uh, the lane as if um, you, you just got here. You kind of just blanked out that you mm. wandered into a city. Or a village looking around, you see dozens of buildings of wood and stone, and uh, the halfling just kind of whistles and points you to what seems to be uh, a larger three story building with a large metallic foot at the very top, and you see some water is spilling out. And in common elvish and dwarvish, it spells out the silver foot. As the half of points at it and says, That's your spot. You'll see the fella with a bunch of papers. That's your examiner. Well, I wish you good luck with your endeavors and also, please leave my cart alone. I'd rather not try to shove you away. It gets missing. Oh, we have to take another test? Don't worry, your cart can be alone whenever it wants to. And uh, she just beams at him. <laughs> I don't thank you. Uriel chuckles at this statement and, and, and like has like a small laugh. And like steps out of the card. And stretches his limbs like, yeah, like a cat or something. 
Looking around, you see, of course, dusk. You, you would guess it's maybe like seven to eight p.m. Uh, people are winding down for the day. People returning from the fields in the distance. People walking by, giving glares to all of you as uh, you kind of are just arriving, and you're a bit of an odd bunch. Uh, but God. nobody says anything. Walking by, my it's girl. Peter, uh, wants to wave at every single one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, wow! What are the demographics of the town we're in? Oh God! Looking around, you know what? You already roll want me, to profile roll everyone. Me, roll me perception check. Why not? Oh God! <sighs> of course. Uh, you see, quite. I a, get plus one. You you see you see quite a few. Uh, humans, a handful of elves, a handful of dwarves, and that's it. And maybe one or so odd tabaxi. The feline creatures, if you will. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Ooh, cats! <laughs> oh god. Okay. My legs are dead from being on this cart for, like, literally the whole day. So as I jump off, I nearly fall over. <laughs> Can I catch you? Because I'm giant. Oh yeah, also, uh, Valentine, your horse has made for the entire journey, unscathed. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Alright, um... Uh, I need to find a place for my horse to stay while we're here. Uh, Ritze Petra points at the horse, did you bring rations along? God. Oh god. Oh no, you can't, he's, you can't, you can't eat him. Don't beat the horse. Please. Don't. Leonia pats the horse and says, Well, how do you know the Equus isn't the enemy of mankind? <laughs> Valentine holds still for a moment, staring at the horse, before shaking his head. It is obvious he considered it for just a moment. <laughs> Bro considered. <laughs> Huh. This horse is just a druid and I got stuck as a horse. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? That would be hilarious, yeah. So All right. I just I just I just take the horse by the rein, I just guide it wherever we go. I'll just walk it. Okay. Uh well, I mean you were told to go to this uh, to the to the silver foot as uh, the building is described. You see a, a handful of uh, People celebrating, raising mugs through the windows, and you hear uh, cheering, uh, audible rambling, and uh, just a comfortable environment in the evening from from the building. Let's go say hello. Looks like maybe a festival. Maybe. Let's take a look. Okay, so, <laughs> so technically, Valentine, there is uh, poles for horses. Uh, six of them. Two of them are occupied with uh, what seems to be plain work animals with very uh, worn-off uh, saddles. So technically, you could s place your horse there. <laughs> Just all right. I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, as of course you enter. Um, as you enter the tavern, the first thing is what you feel is uh, the sensation of music, music and rambling. Every few seconds, uh, um, a chair, a uh, roar, and mugs raised as what you assume out of like 10, 12 tables, over 10 of them are full and packed. More more people around a singular table than uh, their chairs. Celebrations are being had, but to whom or to what, you have no fucking clue. Roll me a perception <laughs> check, everybody. Perception. Everybody. Yay. Okay. Okay, so hold on. No idea what's going on. 
Eight. No idea. Oh my god, Cinti! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Plus she really three? Is, she, is, she really is a genius. Oh god. <laughs> I'm a very perceptive slime, what can I say? <laughs> okay. But, but uh, ha wait, how much wisdom do you have? I don't. I thought you'd have no okay. much wisdom. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> not, not much, but uh, Dang. proficiency. Oh my god. Okay, so, oh god. everybody else, I guess Valentine, you just assume that, you know, there's some, like, you know, celebrations for humanity and whatnot. Uh, you, Recipitra, immediately getting the high ground, because you can see above everybody else. Uh, you see... You see the celebration uh, has all sorts of individuals, not like a certain time. Not a, not a family celebrating their birthday or a new newborn or a child. Not some sort of wedding or something. This is a lot more business related as you s scour around quickly uh listening and apparently there has been a deal struck a very profitable uh deal with lord pavel uh and the other nobilities of the surrounding areas that will bring prosperity and uh, tranquility to the lands for years to come. No more famine. Uh, more gold. And that means more drink. And everybody's celebrating. To the point that you realize that uh, the barkeep is actually offering free drinks to everyone and anyone. Additionally, uh, with that high perception, you merely see one table at a corner. Uh, almost, almost purposely uh, placed, not not by the staff, but by the person, is one of a elderly halfling, maybe in his forties, fifties, uh, white, grayish hair, uh, a lot of uh, notes and uh, papers as he's scribbling on, and occasionally looking at the crowd. Smiling at them, getting a drink ordered, continuing writing and scram scrambling on. Uh, but yeah, for everybody else, people are having a grand old time in the tavern. Yeah. I am intensely uncomfortable. I'm just like looking at the floor, arms crossed. Just trying to be small, I guess. <laughs> I have already made my way to the bar, and in asking for a drink, discovered that they are giving them out for free. So I'm already on my second one. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, uh... You're, you're, getting, you're getting this medium-sized mug that fit perfectly in your hand, and ale gets brought by, basically from the massive taps behind the barkeep. A few seconds, fill to the brim, hand it. Don't even ask who you are, what's your name, what's with the helmet. They just, like, you ask it, they give it to you. And you can pass a perception, even though you have such bad wisdom on the part. You see that the barkeep, who's um, a human, maybe in his 30s, losing a bit of hair himself, is also drunk or maybe even smashed. Them. Fantastic. Well, I am kind of thirsty, so I'm gonna go to the bar and I'm. I'm, I'm gonna Every, everybody gets provided um, with a drink, a veil, and me and nothing else because everything else has been ranked. Everything else has been. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of look at my mug skeptically, take a sip, and then just, yeah, no, I am, I am not, I am not vibing with this, with this drink. Uh, it's a bit, uh, looks at me. Did I get a mug? Did yeah, everyone gets a mug. Everybody gets a mug. The, the, oh, the bartender. Don't, every... don't eat the mug. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the only person that you see that is somewhat coherent in the tavern itself is the halfling. Who's, you know. I, I, uh, I eat a mug. Uh, don't eat the mug. 
Would a, would a <laughs> Uri, Uri almost like spits out his drink. He's like, wait! <laughs> Don't oh, eat that. That's that's not eatable. Don't eat that. Don't... Oh my god. But it looks tasty. It does not. It does not. It, it does not. <laughs> Are you sure? What, what Don't... general like, uh, like uh, slowly goes across the uh, thing as if to taste it? <laughs> Looks pretty tasty he, to me. Hear me out. Mugs are not eatable. Okay, repeat after me. Mugs are not eatable. But why? Maybe not for us. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Um, the, the why question he just like... Um, okay, n never mind. D do what you have to, I guess. <laughs> do what you have to. Eat the mug or something. Um, let, let's see Peter uh, studies uh, what the other people are doing for a moment. And then just uh, puts one uh, like tentacle inside the mug and slurps out uh, the entire liquid in one go and retracts it. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Interesting. Um. Would you, would I you decide like... not to partake because I want my wits about me. Okay. Oh, question. Like, does Ritzifritra get drunk? <laughs> that is oh. a good question. I do not know. What does okay. Odin say about that? Like, <laughs> does she just, like... Like, I don't know. Like, if, you, if she gets drunk, I have, like... Uh, I have concerns. <laughs> It just we can see it metabolizing inside of her. She changes colors, you know. Yeah, she turns to purple. Starts getting redder and redder. <laughs> yeah, it starts getting pink. Yep. Yeah. Oh boy. So yeah. Oh no. The tavern oh, is that, busy. That's, that's good. Can I get another one? Uh, yeah. If you had enough. You can have my one. Oh. oh sure. Another ten verse loves is gone. <laughs> And now Recifitra also has the Aeneas drink, so now she's had three. Okay, yeah, uh, Recifitra! Well, Recifitra! Uh, roll me, me a con check. Roll, roll me a con save, my good, my good slime. Is, is this a save uh, to become poisoned? Because if so, I have advantage on it. Ah, uh, yeah, roll me, roll me, roll me, roll me, uh, uh, with advantage then. Let's go. Uh, does the... is there a command for advantage or do uh, I just it's, it's, Yeah, just in, in front of the d20, just two. Yeah. Oh, right. Right, right. Do, 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 do. Okay, 16. Yeah, you drink it, you feel a bit tipsy, your, your outer frame a bit wobbly, not as... Uh, I guess... Uh, content as it used to be, but you're feeling fine. You're feeling buzzed. <laughs> ah, I could eat a bunch of mugs right now. And I tell that Erisfitra's very drunk. Like, very, very drunk. No. I mean, she's already weird as she is, but... Looking at her, she looks, she looks, she looks a bit droopy from the outside, but she looks pretty happy. Drunken slime, and now I've seen everything in this life. <laughs> Is what, what's happening with Valentine? Is he still with us? Or... He has a straw, and it's like that leads to his helmet. <laughs> and then of his helmet, and just sips. <laughs> <laughs> the noble TM straw. <laughs> nah, I, my, my helmet has a visor, so I'm able to pull my visor up. I'm not hiding oh. my face on purpose, I just think the helmet is pretty. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So do we know how you look like now? Yeah. And oh, you're I... not a goblin slayer? No, I'm not goblin slayer. <laughs> <laughs> I have a striking chiseled jaw, lots of oh. scars on my face, and uh, like brilliant crimson eyes. Crimson? Ooh. 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 I see. Can, can I can I roll a stealth check to see if anyone notices me? Uh, uh... Blowing Eating mugs? <laughs> roll me! Roll me! Let's see! Let's see! If anybody spots you! Um... <laughs> oh 
Oh god. Oh no. Ah, uh, you have no clue, but the mugs are delicious, especially because all the years of being poured with all kinds of alcoholic liquids, it has a distinct taste. Oh I, uh, I eat all three of them. <laughs> Wait, I'm holding my mug. You eat it while I'm holding it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's it's, kind it's of the weird. the last one I eat. Like, like, first I eat the two that are uh, left without supervision, and then I start eating yours out of your hand. <laughs> I kind of, like, jump my hand away. I'm like, oh. So I can see the other two dissolving inside of... As a feature, right? Yeah, what? Well, like, yes. like not, not, not fast enough. But you see, yeah. you see the bubbling and the slow, so, slow but certain disappearance. Oh my god! I, 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 I just yeah. yeah. She uh, seems to get a bit like uh, shorter and wider, as uh, if she was just like leaning back happily. <laughs> 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 do, do we need to pay the bartender back for these mugs? I thought everything is free! Oh my uh, god. The, the bartender slams his uh, hands on the fucking um, bar counter. counter, yeah? It says, hell yeah, it's free! I'll be set for life! Ooh, as he raises his hands and just kind of turns around and just kind of cheers on the mm -hmm. caskets. And uh, Sakita just like points at him with a tentacle and is like, See? I told you. Uh, kind of weird. <laughs> I guess. Or just like <laughs> sighs and he he notices that he, he can't really hold his liquor because it's his first time eating, uh, eating, drinking alcohol. Eating. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, drinking, drinking alcohol. So he's like, Oh, like it's sitting like for some reason in his, like, yeah. It's like, for for a tad second, it's like getting all blurry. I turn to the uh, I turn to the barkeeper, mm -hmm. and I raise my mug to him and say, "To what blessing? Ah, oh, so excuse me. Uh, to what can we owe the blessing of your great wealth, sir? Uh, to Lord uh, Pavel, of course. Uh, he made a deal that was going on for fucking months. Oh." <laughs> Ooh, uh, he kind of grabs his head, almost like uh, trying to contain himself. Uh, some deals with lands, new buildings, new people will arrive. This place will be packed. I'll have customers for days. Ah, oh, the ale will flow as much as the coin. So the I'm city just... is expanding. He kind of not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, some sort of agreement with the lords. Uh, some dispute over family stuff. He kind of wastes his head. You know, politics. I don't really give a damn. I'm a common folk. Uh... <laughs> ah, sorry. Uh, but yeah, he's 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 being he's being cheerful, but he also trying to. He's trying to drink more, but also trying to not pass out in the same, yes, thing. Damn. I'm going to shuffle up to Dania and just, like, ask her, do you, do you know why we're here? Because we're both not drinking. I thought we were signing up for some kind of missionary, mer mercenary group, but now I'm not sure. Uh -oh. All of a sudden, you hear a sharp uh, whistle. Uh... Dania, you can. Everybody can actually hear it. Recifitra, for you, it's all just ambience of the tavern. And you hear the sharp, distinct whistle that kind of gets your attention. And you see the halfling who's kind of giving this one silver um, hand motion towards him and the table. Um, Recifitra. Reverts into a blob, blobs over, and reverts back into a humanoid shape, and it's like, Hey, what, what's up? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> the... The happen looks at you intently, or something for a second. And I assume everybody else is approaching, or just kind of staring at him. 
As he's he, he's probably the most soberest person here, except for a handful of you as well. I'm gonna stand behind Valentine and see what's happening. Oh. Like hiding? Is it hiding behind Valentine? Not hiding, but like not in front. Ah, uh, oh, I'll see. kind of walk up to him nervously because I don't. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling very out of place here anyway, so... Oh yeah, also cheers, because I got so many Hydro Redeems. But, as the <laughs> Halfling, uh, Halfling gets most of your attention, he just asks very calmly, You came here from the cart? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah That's right. he nods, he nods. Did cart. Okay, yeah, we, we totally did fast. <laughs> okay, okay. So, my name is... Lumpo, Detective Lumpo. Uh, everybody uh, ro can roll a history check if you wish. Oh, okay. History. What? Yes. Oh, and quite intelligent. Wait a sec. Twenty-two. Yeah. You should have a history thing in your skills. Yeah, I do. It's a I bit so drunk. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> yeah. So, um, uh, Faerun. Yeah. The Olympo is an odd name, and when he pronounced himself a detective, all of a sudden you remember something about a detective but a that name. You know of, a uh, mi- a legend of a man, of a person, who is a legendary detective and basically is one of the most well-regarded individuals for their cunningness, their investigative capabilities, and being just overall a good person. And that is Detective Sergeant Lumpo. Highly regarded throughout the entire uh, empire as just the man who does every single case that he's assigned to. Wait, you mean you're Lumpo, the detective who gets not, written about, not, who I've he, who read about? He nods. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, oh, I've read all of your cases. Oh my god. That's a bit of a him. What? What? Huh? Good question. I, I did some work back in my prime. I still do it more as a hobby than a actual job. But nevertheless, I am uh, a volunteer as I'm just passing by. And I'm supposed to give you out an assignment to complete. Uh, just a formality real quick, your names. Is uh, it going to... Okay, he grabbed... Full names? Like full names or... Uh, full names would be better if you have one. Just looking at Recifitra, just kind of. Ah. Yes. Yeah, so. And a very, very wobbly tentacle starts like saying. Yeah. Yeah. Big is Recifitra compared to the rest of us. Yeah, that's uh, a good question. I should question. be about the same size as you guys. But like, I wouldn't just be like, able to like carry like you around myself. to like be like, okay, let's... <laughs> no, 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 I already asked that. I don't think so. My, my height is quite variable depending on what configuration I choose, but uh, but I mostly am, like, like like I said, I can I can change that pretty freely. I would mm. say. But don't you have like a favorite height? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Yeah, what is I this? Just scoop her into a bucket. Since I am quite heavy. Yeah. But I, I guess everybody I, arrives. I'm like over 100 kilograms. Mm. I, 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 assume, I assume everybody arrives their names in, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, uh, I don't have a surname. Okay. okay. I do have a surname. He, he, I mean, uh, who's, who's writing she their. manages to somehow write it, but uh, it's yeah. not pretty. <laughs> so. As you write all your names into this ledger, and he kind of takes once over and looks back at you, putting his uh, piece of paper and uh, the piece of charcoal. Um, so, the task is pretty simple. Uh, 
In this town of Eek, there's a graveyard, a cemetery, by the name of Ox's Foot. In the past few weeks, uh, the local populace heard stuff, some sort of murmurs, voices, whatnot, echoing through the night in that surrounding area. Which, you know, you could uh, deter as younglings playing, causing havoc, or maybe tales for the housewives to be entertained themselves from day to day. But I had reports two days ago, and even yesterday, of sudden green glow in the vicinity of the center of the graveyards. As it's atop of a foothill, it can be clearly seen in this uh, uh, time. It's not glowing now. So the task for you as an exam is to go into the graveyard of Ox's foot and figure out the cause of this glow and investigate what is causing the ruckus. Hmm. Yes, sir. We'll, we'll get right on that. Okay. Uri is still a bit wobbly on his feet, but he's still somewhat sober. Uh, where are we going? Huh? Just We're working us. with local law enforcement. Sure. Very pink red the feet raw just floss after you guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, grab my hand so you don't get lost, man. Okay. Uh, your hand gets engulfed in uh, gelatin. <laughs> okay, I guess that works. <laughs> <laughs> then let's let's go. Okay. Let's go. So everybody leaves then for for Ross's food. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, uh, just just a normal investigation check. Okay. But everyone from area? Yeah. yeah. Mm. One d twenty plus one. Yeesh. <laughs> oh, oh my God, Cinti! Why am I so bad at rolling? Hello. Please. Wait, Cynthia roll 22. Damn. Wait, Cynthia's big brain. Cynthia, despite being drunk. <laughs> yeah, despite being the most drunk of the party, you can have almost innate a capability of asking people where Ox's foot is as you kind of walk down, not even know where to go. Uh, which a handful of people looking at you oddly as if seeing a ghost don't really want to argue with you or ask questions and just kind of point. That happens a few times, mainly six or seven times, until you stumble into a foothill that is surrounded by these darkish mountains. Um, it's it's a steep walk, maybe. 200, 300 feet, and you see stone, mossy walls, and wooden uh, double barrel barrier doors uh, slightly open, as there is this small little uh, wooden sign that kind of points towards uh, the steep pathway as Ox's foot. Also, Valentine, would you keep, get your horse into this, or would you keep it? Nope, the horse can stay. I'm not bringing the horse here. Okay. So, yeah, it takes a good ten minutes to navigate through the for this settlement, for this town. And you're kind of just looking. Uh, we need to climb, but it's not even a climb. It's more like a walk, a steep walk. So, how would you like to proceed? Hey, I found it. <laughs> that was a fun game. Ah, uh, thank you for leading us here. <laughs> so this is where the graveyard is? Uh, well... It should be at the top of the hill. Suppose it is. Supposedly. That's what Lumpo told us. Uh, it's where they bury, um, uh, dead people. 
Why would you bury dead people? What would you do with them instead? You have to burn them, lest they return as zombies. I mean, uh, I still have meat on them. Time. I feel like it's a waste to bury them. Uh, Worrying wait. about what to do with corpses is a luxury. Oh, um, it's just the way to honor, honor the uh, fallen. Well, let but us find the where the people are buried. Dead? Uh, I feel like it's a waste. Perfectly good <laughs> meat going to waste. Meat? Meat? Yeah, meat. You you wouldn't. Don't. Why not? Just meat. don't. <laughs> okay. All oh. meat comes from dead things. Fresh dead things. Against I mean, my... they were fresh at some point. But Against my better now. judgment, I try to ignore Recifitra's <laughs> abominable behavior, and I I remove my whip and a couple of da uh, and a couple of darts from my cloak, and I begin marching into Ox's foot, attempting to find the uh, the graveyard. Okay, so my uh, my left eye starts to shimmer a bit, shimmer shimmer. Okay, so. Walking up, uh, you can see to the west, uh, through the hills and through the distant forest, sun is setting and darkness takes hold. The place is definitely calm. Slight wind jars the door to, to this place slightly a bit. <coughs> Crossing through the threshold into Ox's foot, you see what seems to be an abandoned church at the very end of it, maybe a quarter of a mile long, uh, surrounded by uh, black hills, scorched or devout of any life. Uh, you see a handful of stone uh, gravestones, well, actually several hundred of them, in all kinds of qualities and conditions. Some have been freshly, you know, made, while some are ancient, maybe centuries, if not longer. Uh, just looking around. Uh, mm -hmm. Everybody roll me a perception check, if you will. Yeah, per perception. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh god. Oh, we're all blind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, no, clutch. Oh, hey, okay, you finally. Fine. Okay. Let's go. Valentine, devout seeker of enemies of humanity, you scour the, the, just the area, looking for anything, for any answers. It is graveyard inside this pit. Surrounded by blackish mountains. You find not a living soul in there. As for the small church, uh, you see that there's a handful of entrances. The main entrance is locked with sturdy locks. The side entrances are open, and as you go in, you see that it's an abandoned church, uh, devoid of all of its opulent uh, garments. But there are stalls, there's an altar, there are a handful of candles that have been extinguished probably a long time ago. A, a lot of cobwebs. Roll me a religion check, as you see. Quite a few symbols. Also, give me I a will, I will roll that, but um, you said that there were garments. Religion. Oh no, I'm, I'm a bad, I'm a bad acolyte. Uh, <laughs> I am into religion, guys. I, I have this... I Why don't. You grew up in a temple. <laughs> I don't. Um, I don't. So, uh, Araxis, you said that there were garments here. He's he will be. Oh, right he's, back. he's dying. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. I am back. By the way, uh, what... oh, welcome oh, back. Oh boy. Why are we walking there? By I'm the curious way, about. Um. Uh? Sorry. Go ahead. 
Uh, while, while we're walking there, Sofita is still trying to argue with Yuri uh, that um, it is an absolute waste to bury the meat that is still fresh and then just leave it there. I guess it's a waste for you, but right now they're not edible, so don't. Please. I, I beg you. So... Yeah. What, what, what do you think I am? I'm not eating meat that is that old. You know... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So. Anyway, uh, I wanted to ask, like, it, it, it's pretty late, right? Like, how is, like, the vision going? Ah. Uh, you, you see that, uh, well, it's, it's getting dark. Um, it's, it's maybe in, like, half an hour. You probably need to whip out the torches. But at the moment. And the question is, like. A dark I, vision. I, I do have dark vision, yes, but do we ha like do I notice like people who are obviously don't have dark vision? Uh Well Technically at this very moment no. Okay. Uh, except maybe when going to church Valentine and it's a Petra because it's pretty okay. dark inside. Uh but Ooh, but. for religion check. Uh, Uriel, uh, Diania, and Isifitra, you realize that this church has, is, or was belonging to, uh, the followers of Lathander. Uh. Another religion check to look who that is? Second. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. I'll tell you what Lathander is. Okay. Lathander is uh, the deity of creativity, dawn, renewal, the cycle of life. Mainly cycle of life. It has many titles and is probably the most common god people uh, worship because it's it's basically an aspect of what everybody seeks youth vitality mm -hmm. uh renewal i see i remember um, that the apes have taught me not to eat anything in here oh um hmm. the thunder is vaguely opposed to my god but I don't actually know that it is. You would have no clue with that at all. Yeah, I, but I don't actually know it's Lathander, so it's, nope, it's not. Nope, you have no clue. Yeah, yeah, I have no idea who that is. So I'm just chilling. I'm just confused. Give me a second. Apparently I have stream shoes. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. I'm also going to be AFK for a second in that case. Okay. Oh, boy. Yeah. We. Oh God. <laughs> oh, there, you okay? Uh, I nearly fucking slipped and broke my neck, but I'm good. Oh my Phenomenal. God. Yeah, don't worry. Great. Just, just a casual roll to save my life. Wait, Cynthia's going. Okay, e and B so gone I'll wrong. Go. I almost died. Yeah. Pog. Uh, but yeah. So what? What is plan for everybody? Does my okay. lantern light up? Probably not. Nope. Okay. Do not worry. I will notify if the lantern light is up. Okay. 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 So we're investigating this church. I am going to find the leftover garments that are of the nicest quality, and I'm going to take them. Okay. Uh, roll me just an investigation check. Investigation. There we go. Uh, takes you a good few minutes, and well, most pristine garments are very plain linen robes mm. with a with a, I guess, averagely painted sigil of what seems to be a dawn. 
like a like a like a back like in the foreground there's lands and in the background there's like this dawn rising well i suppose they're not terrible no i'll still take them okay um yeah okay i'm back so, the church the graveyard and every anything in ox's foot is just dead silent quiet there's nothing here I'm going to go to the church. Uh, well, church. are we in the church? Yeah, technically. I mean, oh, I thought we were in the graveyard. Well, the graveyard is well, the church is technically in the graveyard, so. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm gonna go to the building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, is it a vicarage or what are we talking about? It's it's not a big. It's 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 modest. You assume maybe sixty to seventy people could easily uh, listen to a ser sermon. Uh. Abandoned. Nothing much. Nothing so, much. So, can I go from the graveyard into the church building, or are we yes. already in the church you, building? You would be technically in the church building, because Valentine went to investigate. A handful of you made religion checks, figured out some of you who, who the church belongs to, and of course, Valentine got some ropes from it. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything here. It does look like it. Should we go back to Lumpo? I feel like... Yeah, what were we doing here anyway? <laughs> uh, we are investigating some some weird lights. He said there are weird lights coming from here. And he wanted us How to find many out floors one. is the church? Yeah, that's uh, a good question. It, it's The church itself is maybe 15 feet tall. Like from, from the floor to the ceiling. But there's only one floor. So it doesn't have an undercroft? Nope. It's very Oh, plain. that's weird for a church. It is very weird. Uh, can I investigate, like, the walls if I find something suspicious? Sure. Wrong investigation. Yeah, that's totally safe. Right? Is there an altar? Uh, yeah, there is a, this modest... Um, altar of wood that has a handful of cobwebs and actually a few spider nests just kind of in the in the bottom and you can see a handful of spiders can i use my divine sense to see if there's any weird like magic -y stuff going on uh well would you like roll a kana for that no Nope. Well, no, so Divine Sense is just, you can sense Celestial's fiends are dead, consecrated, and desecrated when 60 feet. Mm. Okay. So You sense nothing. Except for Ural's lantern. Oh. As the, yeah. I, I would like to uh, remind uh, Ural that uh, Rest of Hydra is still attached to his hand. Yeah, I use my other hand. Wait, I don't have a hand. Fuck, I, uh... I, I shake off the the, the goo. <laughs> uh, she makes she makes a, mm, the uh, she tries her hardest to stay attached. Okay, so uh, I try to uh, scoop the goo to uh, someone Co else. Contested strength check. Well, no, I don't have any strength <laughs> strength save versus um, strength check from Ural. Strength check. Yeah, just strength on Rosita's strength saving throw. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. yeah, do Three I need times. to No. Do, do I need to roll here? No. No. She has you. She is yeah. built different. Okay, so I say, can you please like let go of me for a minute? But you told me to stay attached. But we stay attached to I don't know, Dionea. Come on, like ah. give me. A I take Dionea's hand. I scoop the goo to her hand. Oh, I like her, and uh, I attach to Dionea instead. <laughs> Good. So now I investigate <sighs> the walls. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I say to everyone, there doesn't seem to be any weirdness happening with um 
undead or anything. I, I, I really don't know what's going on. Okay. In my journeys, I've discovered that ghosts only come out when you disturb things that they like. So, what's the most important thing in this room, and I will break it? Uh, does the altar thing to me? Does the altar have an altar cloth on it? Nope. So can we see the stuff that's like inside, like underneath? It's empty. It's it's hollowed out and it's empty. Okay. Is there maybe a trap door? <laughs> can we anything? Come well, on. I assume if there's there's nothing sacred under the altar, then I guess the most important object would be the altar itself, right? All right. <laughs> Kresafita, uh, like, holds up uh, her arm that is attached to Diane and is like, Diane is the most important thing to me in this room. Roll yeah, me. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. So. But you're going to desecrate before, the before, before you do anything, everybody perception check. Oh, God. Not again. In the middle of uh, picking up a rock as we speak. <laughs> Yeah. Like a big rock. A big piece of oh rubble. God. I would love Bro, it. Fa 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 is a useless. If Fal if Fa oh, if Fa they would have succeeded. So how? Oh, Sinti. I think, I think, I think, uh, Sinti is going on? broken. Lop is OP. No, Lop you're OP. just, no, it's just It's because you're an I I. She's hacked, she's hacked the dice roller. Oh boy. It's, it's rigged. <laughs> so, Recifitra and everybody else. As Valentine is like, you know, like, it's like, I'm gonna fucking destroy this altar. And everybody's like deciding if it's a good thing. Should we stop him? Do we just watch? Recipiter, you kind of just, you know, casually like look around, having fun, dizzy, buzzy, uh, enjoyment as you finally found something you could call a friend. Looking through the few uh, windows of the church that have not been, you know, barricaded or blocked. Uh, you see, back the way you came, there is a si dark silhouette slowly approaching you for a good few seconds and then walking. Do I no, 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 no. Do I recognize? No, Refi Recifita only. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> you see, you see, you see, it's walking towards you for a few seconds and then takes a sudden turn a right as it continues walking outside I, uh, yeah what would you like to do i turn in its direction and uh, wave with like an extra tentacle and scream hello at the top of my lungs <laughs> well oh. you, you know what i mean with at the top uh -huh. of my lungs but <laughs> yeah ha 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 um wait wait it's... who are you talking to Oh. 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 Okay. Uh, you you kind of you kind of hear the sudden echo, and you know just everybody hears the hello from Recipita echo. Uh, you see you see the um, individual that was walking and now walking just to a random direction or what? Not a yeah, slightly away from the church. Uh, he doesn't seem to be no noticed at all. He just walk. Who? Yeah. Who were you saying hello to? There was someone there. I Out saw them. Outside? Yeah. I didn't I immediately... I do something wrong. No, uh, are they... Are they coming here? Didn't seem like it. Do slimes see ghosts? I don't I immediately know. rush over to uh, Recifitra. Uh, weapons at the ready and I say, which way did they go? Oh god. I, uh, okay. I point them in the direction. <laughs> How about right, I run. just goes ahead? Wait, 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 wait. I can I put, put like try at least try to pull him back on his shoulders, please. At least try. I'm, I'm not strong, but come on. <laughs> okay, I mean, I mean, I mean, persuade him to stop. I don't know. Okay, wait a second before we uh, like rush into something we don't know. Maybe we should like try to be calm and uh, try <laughs> to follow the steps that Rest of the has seen. And try to find a clue. We have we found rush. a clue. Yeah, but we shouldn't. Like, okay, we shouldn't storm. Like, we shouldn't headbutt into it. We should like go into it prepared and not just like you know. What if we lose them, like sitting around? 
Precisely. And then I continue. I'm just running in that direction in the direction you, the rest of the are, pointed are, me to. Are you, are, are you running? As in, like, like just charge? Or yeah, you... I'm hard sprinting. Oh, God. Okay, Uri okay. is sighing and is, like, trying to j jog after. Okay, okay, okay. I am, I'm... So, um, since nobody, since Valentine is do, doing fuck all stealth, but because it rolled so poorly, Valentine, as you storm out and, you know, you see the traces and you start to run, you run maybe 40 feet out of the church, back the way you came, and you see, uh, in the midst of the graveyard, there's one individual, and it looks like a, like a boy. Um, uh, would you assume it's maybe seven-year-old, eight-year-old boy, uh, kneeling and kind of getting on all of his force and weeping softly? Yeah. Yeah, you can yeah. see you can see him run. Like you see, you got into a sprint. Did you see this? What do you do? You do you continue to sprint? Seven <laughs> seven seven morning seven. youth. I sigh. I put my darts away, but I keep my whip on me, and I oh, slowly oh. walk over to where the boy is, uh -huh. and about maybe twenty or thirty feet away, I call out. It's a little late, isn't it? Uh. By the way, uh. Quick, quick question, is Dianea still in the church? Because uh, wherever she is, I am also, because I'm still attached to her. I, I guess I am still, I guess we, we can go out together. Okay. So, yeah, uh, as, uh, as, you know, you kind of exclaim loudly, the boy all of a sudden just, you see all of his body just kind of contorts for a bit, this star looks at you and like gets on his back and starts like uh moving back kind of kind of scooting his legs away no, uh, just kind of you see tears are rolling down his eyes when you say when you say contorts is he like no, no, is no, he no. having a seizure no, no, or no. is he being possessed no 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 as in as in you startled him the living shit oh, out of okay. him and now he's like trying to figure out what he, he's trying to say something but he's weeping on his back. Oh, for a moment, maybe he was like the thing transformed. No, 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 no. Oh, I, was, shit. I have, I have, no. Wait, have me and Euro caught up yet? Yeah, did we? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, you see, you see oh. this kid, maybe seven or eight years old. What seems to be by a freshly uh, dug grave, still some uh, flowers put on that uh, are. Well, not wilted, and you see the sobbing kid. Um, and so Peter I... beams at him, waves, and uh, says, Hey, I'm little Peter! On, oh, God. Oh. On, like, slowly approach him and be like, Hey, are you are you okay? Uh, don't, don't hurt me, please. Uh, no, 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 we're not here to hurt you or anything. We're, we were just here to see um, some lights were glowing here, but are you are you okay? Can we help with anything? I... I kind of whisper to Rissa Future, the boy is sad. Oh. I... I... Uh, oh. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden you see his eyes look at the grave as he kind of wipes his eyes a bit. Uh, I... Oh. I hear her... calling. Mm. Here, yeah, here, I think that's She, she kind of, uh, the boy kind of points at the grave. I hear my ma uh, sobbing. Uh, uh, that shouldn't. Everybody roll me perception like to, checks. I, I oh, I, I would have done that anyway. I was about to say I would like to try my hardest to uh, hear his mother. <laughs> oh God. Ha <laughs> Let's go. Uh, perception. Oh. Uh, Vivi, uh, we're, we're just 
we're we're not. <laughs> it's not our day. Today, today is not the Bal day. Valentine, <laughs> give me a second. Let me switch some music. Oh no, music change. Crusader. Yeah. <laughs> you wish. You wish. Give me a second. Let's see. If we need to roll an initiative, I'm gonna cry. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Let Time. me just. Let me do just. We have to eventually start running weapon out, running so. so. Oh. The first thing you do is kind of get closer to the ground and kind of listen, and immediately your back just kind of shudders as you hear soft weeping next to the grave what sounds to be in a wooden box and then you hear somber voice of an elderly woman Theo help I'm stuck and then you hear uh, what sounds like bony fingers against the wood somewhere deep a few feet below you I would like to wave at the grave and say, hello, I'm Ressa Oh my god. Uh, it's only Valentine who hears, no? Yeah, everybody oh. else, you okay, don't. Then never mind. So, I'll, I'll okay, just, like... so I hear this, yeah. and I stand up, I pull my darts back out, and I hold my I hold my hand out and say, everybody back! There is a Wendigo under the ground! A what? A what? A what? It is an evil creature that mimics the voice of loved ones. Uh... Wait, I, can I, like, pick up the kid? Uh, yeah, you can. Is it, like, a strength check, or can I just, like... No, no, you can, you can grab him. Okay, um... I've like, definitely just... seen this before. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna pick him up and be like, wait, I, I don't think it's safe here. I'm kind of like... Okay. Yeah. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, you see green fog rolling. Bright oh. green fog. As you all it's suddenly hear, phone. all of a sudden you hear this funking oh sound under under the ground. Tio, Tio, is this a horror movie? Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna hold on to you. Like, Wait, it's okay. Just stay, stay, stay with us. We're gonna keep you safe. Okay, who's running? Who's staying? Um, I assume I assume all of us are hearing it now. Yes, this is very. In that case, I want to do my greeting now. <laughs> it's Dio. Dio. As all of a sudden, all of a sudden, a spectral form emerges from the grave. In this immediate green Sorry. fog, and then it manifests into uh, a a cat, <laughs> a cat, a cat, a cat. Yes, a spectral, a spectral green cat that has torn um. Uh, Skin and fur, definitely dead, and red glowing eyes. I, I would like to turn towards the boy and ask him, uh, is your mom a cat? Oh god. <laughs> I tried to put my hand over Ursafitra's mouth. Uh, and I, I, turn I to grew the... a new one on a different part of my body. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what, what are you? Uh, so... I rolled 14. Do I hit with a dart? Oh. oh my god, he's got. Oh, you're gonna. Yeah, you <laughs> hit. So you hit. Roll roll to hit. Oh, roll damage. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ooh, a Ooh, seven. Max damage roll. A seven. All of a sudden, as you kind of. You see it, and it kind of merged, and you just hear this. Theo! And all of a sudden, between the fucking eyes, you just fucking swing the dart. And all of a sudden, there's this gasping sound for a second as the whole form of the cat just vanishes. 
Well, uh, did your mom is it? Did. Jack, and I have bad news for you. The creature is slain. Victo I am victorious. Oh my god. Uh, everybody roll initiative. <laughs> As... But I've already won. Well, from, you look around, you're like, I already won. And you see a handful of these cats start to emerge from the green no mist. Cat. Yes. I, I want to turn towards the boy once more and be like, on second thought, maybe I don't have bad news after. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is my initiative? Where is that? It's your deck okay, tomorrow, I, card, I, technically. I, oh, I see. So I shout to everyone, we need to protect, we need to protect the boy. Like, The... Uh, it seems like I'm quite busy shouting at the book. Uh, I, I kind of put him down and say, just stay behind me. Ooh. We're gonna keep you safe. Give me a second. I'm just gonna quickly write some initiative orders. Uh, where? The... So... Yeah, I need to think about what I should do, man. Wait a sec. Yeah, give me do a initiative sec. ties. Uh, does greater bonus go first? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah high, greater... high score. Give me a second. Yeah, greater. If, if, if people are equal um, on the same score, the higher modifier goes first. Uh, also, where is my fucking... Where's my pen? Somebody fucking stole it? Motherfucker. I'm gonna kill someone. Uh, found it. Okay, give me a second. So, Valentine, you are first. Uh, looking around, you see that there are four of these cats that have just popped out of the mist surrounding the grave and they're all screeching hissing at you as you hear the clanging of the 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 grave just kind of trying almost break through what would you like to do Valentine? Okay. okay so are there two within five feet of one another no everybody split at least no. 15 feet yeah they're all kind of surrounding right. you the gray, in the gray, in the circle pattern, yeah. Oh. No. Hold on. Um, so it seems like... What's closest? The closest? Uh, the closest cat would be... Yeah, what's be, the closest one? Would be 10 feet away from you. Just popping out of the mist, looking at you back kind of you know lifted screeching clearly in death yep 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 hold on can you find me reach okay cool um with what is my range with reach in 5e uh is it 10, 10 feet 10, 10 feet, feet. Fantastic, then I'll attack the one that is 10 feet from me with a whip. Okay, a roll to hit. Oh god. Oh my Very god. Good. Yes, that definitely hits. Yeah. Damn. And, uh... You hit Not it. Phenomenal damage. Yeah, you hit it, and you see that as you kind of it, the whip goes through the entire uh, body of the cat, but the cat kind of the whole whip passes through. It kind of winces in pain, but when you pull your whip back, it's kind of limping a bit, hissing still at you quite uh, menacingly. It's still alive. Mm. Yes. Okay. It's a cat. Yeah. Cat is pissed. Yeah. It uh, is a cat. So now it's my turn, right? Yes, you will. Yeah. You're up. Uh, so, like, do I have, like, one in a range of five feet of me? Uh, no. The closest one would be 15 feet. Okay, okay. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Eldritch Blast. <laughs> Roll to hit. Uh... Like, that's like a... Wait. It's like a d20 plus spell yeah, bonus, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Then give me a sec. That's fine. Okay, that's a hit! Roll damage. Okay. Boop. 
Yep. Yep. You you just kind of aim at it almost out of panic. It just kind of blasts a single bolt and just goes directly through. And before it lets any sound, it just into green smoke and disappears. Um, I'm a warlock. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anything else? Uh, no. No. All right. Uh, Dio. Nia. How would, what would you like? Uh, <laughs> Dio. Jump in and remind uh, Dio Nia that uh, one of her hands is still attached to me. All right. I'm still connected to the slime. <laughs> All uh -huh. right. Um. I would like to use my feature form of dread to oh. give me immunity to the frightened condition, and also uh, once per turns when I hit an attack, I can force the target to make a wisdom save, and if they fail this save, it's frightened of me until the next turn. Fair. And um, that would is that does using the feature use my whole turn or is it considered a I think bonus it's a action? Bonus action, right? If it's a bonus action, you still have your action. Ah. Uh. Okay. Okay, then also... Sorry, I'm still new to these character sheets. It's fine, it's fine. I'm trying, it's okay. I'm trying to remember where all my spells are on here. At the very bottom. Yeah, I just scrolled down. Mm-hmm. Oh, there we go. Okay. I would like to use... Well, how far away am I from the cats? How far, I guess, how far me and Risa feature? Uh, well, technically, two are uh, 20 feet away from you in opposite directions. Uh, one has been destroyed immediately by Uril, and one has been wounded by Valentine that is maybe 25 feet away from you. Okay. So the one that is closest to me, I'd like to um, create bonfire, which creates a five-foot cube um, of fire. Uh-huh. So it's 1d8 fire damage, so... And the eight fire damage. Would you wait? Is it a range or do you need to walk up and just flop? Um, it says it has a range of 60 feet. Oh, so I'm assuming okay. since they're 20 feet, I can just bow, right? You know what? You know what? I'll add one one modifier because I just imagine you just plop it on top of the cat. So if you do a d4, yeah, do, a d4, yeah, just do a d4. Okay, I'm gonna say you're gonna plop it on top of the cat. So you... mm. see. One, two, three, four. And I'm checking to see if there's a. <clears throat> okay. Boop. That's oh. uh, four. So, then, yeah, you just manifest a bonfire on top of the cat, as in a few feet above the cat, just plump a handful of logs in a blazing fire. And the cat doesn't even have a reaction as it just kind of collapses on all of it. And for a second, you see the figure of the cat just kind of trying to get out and just vanish. Excellent. <laughs> so, uh, in that case, anything else from you? Uh, I think that's the end, yeah. Okay. <laughs> in that case, uh, Feyren. Uh, you're up. You uh, have you have uh, a small little Tio, the boy who's weeping. Uh, yeah. So how far away are we from you the grave are, and the cat? You are about forty or so feet away. The cats are seemingly interested in the rest of your companions, while the kid seeming reaching his hand out towards the graves, yelling in whimpers, "Ma." Um. Wait, are there any actions I can do to protect? Uh, is, that, is that like a god uh, action? I mean, I, I mean, no, no. Unless you want to hold action oh. and try to attack someone who tries to get to you. Oh, um, <laughs> I'll do, I'll do, I'll do 
prepare the action. Uh huh. What action? Because I got my quarter stuff. Okay, you're gonna. So, so if anyone can... And then I want to ask the kid, like, did uh, do you know what's going on with these with these cats or? Uh, roll me a persuasion check. Okay. Persuasion, interesting. Uh, right, 1d20 plus 4. 24. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, it, the, the kid almost like snaps out of the trance calling for Ma looks at you. My Ma loved cats. Uh, and uh, he was buried with, uh, uh, fluff. Not that was her favorite because she also passed away uh, and you see kind of kind of confused still sobbing trying to explain the best of his abilities oh it, it's okay thank thank you um just stay stay with me okay i'm going to keep you safe you're you're holding him he's not resisting y yeah i know but <laughs> look i'm also kind of panicking i'm, I'm not gonna so are you holding action to, you know, swing if somebody comes? Yeah, just swing swing the stuff whoever okay. comes near me. Okay. Yeah. In that case, uh it is Recifitra's turn. There are two cats still alive. One quite injured by Valentine's whip and another about twenty feet away from you, hissing at you. At all of you technically. Did I uh hear the conversation between Kyron and the boy? Uh, I'm pretty far away now. E, what's your what's your passive perception? Uh, my passive perception is <coughs> thirteen. You would have. Okay. Um. In that case, uh, as if it is like, ah, oh, so they are not his parents. Why are we killing them? And uh, looks at Diana with a question. Because they're bearing down on us with malicious intent. Well, works for me. And uh, she like uh, there's like a spray of like poisonous gas coming from her towards the nearest cat. Okay. Uh, what does the cat need to? Concept. Is it a poison damage? Uh, yes. It doesn't eat as well as it succeeds. It's immune. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. You just spray the surrounding area and then you just see the cat in the in the bubbly poisonous fog still there hissing at you. Huh, that usually works. It's better. Okay. Cat turn. Valentine! The cat that you just used the whip on charges at you and tries to hit you. Hold fast or expire. Six. <laughs> you see this rampant yeah. cat just running, just trying to gnaw at you in your me metal shining armor. <laughs> crunch, crunch. Not even denting it. Um, as for Resifitra, the cat that you tried to poison now charges you and tries to take a chomp out of you damn 19 hits i assume right mm -hmm. okay you take well technically you take two points of poison damage which probably is half from you right uh, yes, I am yeah. resistant to poison. So you take one point of poison damage. And, Damn. Uh, okay. And roll me a con save with advantage. She's fighting for her life here. Uh, once again, is it a save against being poisoned? Yes, yes, advantage, like I said. Okay. Oh, the music's picking up. <laughs> oh yeah. <coughs> I'm sorry for the cops. Take it. No, you're ill. It's, it, don't worry. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I have rolled. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't, so. Yeah, you're not poison, it just kind of bites in you, just kind of gets a, a bit of a touch. On top of the turn, all of a sudden, the clanging begins to be louder as from the mist, besides you, Valentine, just next to you, five feet to the side, you see another cat from emerges and hisses at you. Uh, Feyren, by yeah. you, manifest a cat, roll me to hit. Oh, uh, okay, wait, what's my bonus? Uh, blah, 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 blah. uh let me find out. Quad star strength to hit plus six? Oh my god. I mean, it, it, you have a quarter stuff. Do you want to hit with your quarter stuff? Because it's like it's spell attack. Like... 24. Yep, roll right. damage. Oh god. Okay, uh. 1d6 plus 4. Okay. Roll 1d6 plus 4. 7. Yeah, you just fucking. You see this the <laughs> cat that just like. A cyclone merch strikes to hit. You just fucking instinctually hit it. Bonk the. The, the pavement so hard it kind of cracks and the cat is gone. And then, from uh, from the grave, uh, again, manifests a bigger cat. Much bigger than uh, maybe twice as a normal cat, wearing what seems to be a human skull, a skull, as it all of a sudden glares at you, Feyren. And you just hear her say, Come to me, Tio. Is it? It's not doing anything I else. Know. Uh, Valentine, you're up. You're surrounded by two cats. Ooh, two cats? Yes. Oh, my two cats. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold on. Okay. So, I'm going to use my one per day. Now, you can tell me if I'm doing this wrong, because yeah, I'm not yeah, familiar yeah. with D&D 5 e mechanics. I'm going to use my one per day <laughs> uh, uh, superior combat technique. Uh-huh. And I'm going to perform a sweeping attack to attack both cats at the same time. Oh. That is that is actually, yeah, that's, that's, that's how it is. Yeah, that's swag. Okay. So, yeah. Both them hit. Well, second hit, so roll. Roll the damage. Damage. Oh, max damage. Oh Let's yeah. Go. With a single masterful whip, both of those cats pff, gone as if a magic trick was performed before your eyes. Anything else you wish to do, Valentine? Uh, I will flex and taunt. <laughs> one, of, one of those four my dads, am I right? <laughs> the L dance. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Just so, a little flourish. So now the last cat standing is like the giant one, right? No, no, no. One cat is still in Reficitra's, uh, uh, I guess, thing, Range. body, crunching on it. Ooh. And there's one bigger cat, like twice as. Big looking at Faerun. Uh with that, uh Uriel, you're up. <laughs> yeah. So I see like uh, the cat like munching on the goo. Uh-huh. You know? I will yeah, Eldritch blast that thing. Duh. Roll to hit. I am. Oh, Wait. you do care for Reci uh Recifrica. That's a hit roll almost, damage. Almost, almost, <laughs> almost the name, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm bad. Recip, Fritra. I got it. Ah. Oh god. You you hit it, but barely. Like you you kind of get it to its back tail area, and you just see the tail just disappears and vanishes, and you see the cat just kind of winces in pain, hisses at you. Full with its uh, mouth of this blue jelly. Um, 
Yeah, and I was just too scared to hit the rest of Fitra. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, in that case, Diania, you're up. How close am I to the big cat with the skull? Uh, actually, less than ten feet. Somewhere, maybe six, seven feet. Okay, okay, okay. I, I know what I'm going to do. I would like to cast Mage Hand, and I would like to try to remove the skull from around its neck. Oh. Oh. Roll That's me. So big friend. Roll me an intelligence check. I'm going to roll my O. Oh my god. Yeah, roll, roll being smart. <laughs> Roll big brain. Come on, big brain. Roll for brain size. <laughs> so that be. Yeah, so my intelligence intel is. Yeah, intelligence. Having... Yeah, just so D20 plus your modifier intelligence. Intelligence modifier. And you so have, just the modifier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you, okay. have, you have to beat a four. Yes. So, Dionia, how would you like to do this? So I have... cast my um, invisible mage hand that has a range of 30 feet. And I command it to um, basically reach behind the cat's uh, oh, no, 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 ears no. and scratch. Dionia, oh. I, I know what you're meaning, but after... Uh, the final move, the final attack, the finishing blow of an encounter, I usually ask, how do you want to do this? As in... Yeah. Light flex. Yes. Um... I'm sorry, I guess I don't understand the question. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Um... It's... Basically, it's... he wants you to do, like, a cinematic end to the encounter. If you wish. <gasps> oh! Yes. As in, it's going to be the end of the combat after this. Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess I don't know what happens when when the skull gets removed, but I guess the hand dramatically rips the skull away from the cat, and I I catch it in my arms when it brings it back to me. Uh, now she gets possessed. So, as, <laughs> as all of a sudden, with a swift pull from the giant cat focus on Theron, the magical hand appears and just kind of, with a single sudden pull snatches the skull. All of a sudden you see the skull that was grayish with the coloration of um, the cat and the shades turns normal and becomes like an actual normal oldish skull. As all of a sudden every single cat still present vanishes in the intense greenish fog disappears. And that is the end of combat. Damn. Ooh, Hold on, I gotta go. Smashed. Speaking of cats, I gotta go give my cat a food. One second. Or hand what, me uh, it. What's hand happened me to the baby. cat inside no, of she you? gotta eat a crunch. The cat vanished. Hand me the baby. In, as, if, as in, as if, as if, um, a magic trick, the cat just <laughs> vanished in a plume of giant green smoke. It became nothing. <coughs> is yeah. everyone okay? Who oh, is asking around? Uh, has anyone uh, heard? It's where, where, it where? like uh, extends a bit and uh, like goes uh, in front of her and bend downwards and looks at the part that got bitten out and uh, seems to wonder where the cat went. Oh. Does anyone also, have I'm still a attached series? to the in I'm case back. anyone was wondering? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Dionia, as you get the skull, you know, it's it's an average skull. You realize that there's something inside the skull. As there is this black leathery tome inside of the skull, neatly tucked in. Like a tiny notebook? Uh, yeah, you would... S it, it would feel like it was brutally wedged inside the skull. Even though it didn't appear in the shade form, 
Now that you have the physical form of the skull, you see this tome. It okay. smells. I try to remove the tome from inside the skull. Yeah. You, you easily remove, and then uh, you smell sulfur, and you smell rot in the tome. And it's this black, leathery tome, riddled with what seems to be um, torn scars in its cover, and sewn together. Um, roll me... A D100. Oh. Oh no. Not a D100. <laughs> you better roll a 100. Yeah. Let's see. Damn. Mm. Zam. There is. There is this sensation that you feel this tugging sensation at your stomach looking at this book you don't know if it's bad or good but there's just this tugging towards the tome and nothing else <coughs> can I read the title on it or does it have a title on the does, front of it it does not have a title and opening the first page, as you see, in brilliant green um, ink, you would assume. And the smell of sulfur is unbearable. Can anybody read Demonic? No. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, is Infernal? Is Infernal the same as... Oh, yeah, Infernal, yeah. Okay. Uh, then I can read it. The first page calls you out Yonia by name. Damn. Tells you Spooky. that nothing can be achieved without sacrifice. And only the strong deserve the power that this book offers. Roll me a wisdom. Roll me a wisdom yes. saving pro. Oh no. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Oh god. No, oh no, no. No 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 that that was that was what I don't sorry think, I hit the wrong button one sec. Yeah, I don't think that's that's how it's supposed to go. Yeah, sorry I hit the wrong button before I hit enter. Yeah. There you go. Okay. That's better. So there is this as you look for the first page, the sulfur smells inviting and then as you like almost hypnotically start to like cross your fingers through the page and then try to flip another one all of a sudden your your mind just kind of snaps back as you realize you didn't perform this motion to try to turn the second page uh as the pitfall seems to be done looking at the hole in uh, her side and uh now it turns to Dianea, tucks a bit like at her head, and is like, What did you find? That looks tasty. God, don't eat I wouldn't eat this book. <laughs> I'm so curious to know what happens to the slime if it eats that book. I, I'd like <laughs> I'd like to ask the kid if he has any family. Do you have any family or anywhere um, you can go? We can take you. I, 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 I live in the city D down, down there. Is it going to point? My my pa is a guard, and uh, I, I have a home. Okay, uh, we can bring you. You can take us to him, and we'll we'll get you there. Mm -hmm. um, he kind of he kind of snuggles you closer and just kind of points. Um. Okay. Also, yeah, I don't think I know about the book yet because I've just been like 
preoccupied, like, babysitting. Yeah. <laughs> so, what is um, everybody doing as, uh, yeah. Uh, is the book know. doing anything else to me, or did I get snapped out of it? Yeah, you got, you, you got, you read the first lines of offerings of power, and then you kind of, everything just became a bit inviting, and then before you flipped, all of a sudden your mind just kind of almost uncomfortably snapped back, like a, like a sudden somebody just pour a cold bucket of water just onto you. Is okay. there any trace of the uh, spectral cats? Like, did they leave anything behind when nope. they died? Nope. It's it's basically just dust. Damn. And not dust. Just nothingness. Uh, that's a fatal advice to uh, snake alert. Uh, see what it's about. Is it? Do you do you know demonic? Uh, I do not. Okay, so looking at the book, you see a bunch of cool-looking greenish holog uh, holograph of uh, the runes of unreadable uh, origin, and the smell is awful. The smell is even to Sinti? Yeah. We all smell it. No, what? but like, maybe she would find it like, I don't know, tasty. Like, a tasty smell. No, 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 this is, this is not of a, a smell. It just smells awful. You don't even, for most of you, it's sulfur for Recifitra. It's something else, something that you would oh, right, consider okay, I got awful. You. Oh, no, rose perfume. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, uh. for real? Nah. <laughs> but yeah, um... She looks at it and is like, those are some funny symbols. Actually, uh, I don't want to eat it anymore. It's a reek. Let's uh, throw it away. I read the book. I've also decided to keep the cat lady skull. Uh-huh. It's, it's you know, who knows? the kid's mom's skull. Yeah, but like, he doesn't need it. <laughs> it's just... Um, are we about to visit his? Where? Wait, wait. Um, I, well, I probably don't know. Yeah, so it's. I've it's already like... tucked the skull away into my robes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know the spoils. You know we're visiting the family, and you're gonna bring the skull. Well, I mean, <laughs> clearly, land. don't tell them we have it. <laughs> yeah. To uh, be uh, or not to be. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I just walk over with a kid and be like, and like, oh, this kid has a home in in the town. We should take him back all right oh, yeah we should oh poor yorick alas <laughs> uh poor valentine mm. so yeah what, what what is everybody's plan because of course Farron is gonna go try to get the child back into the... i think yeah. we should go together we should not split up i'm gonna put the book um, into my pocket, and I'm gonna show it to everyone later when we are done dealing with the child. Okay. Yeah, and if we bring back the child, we should also go back to the silver foot. Yeah. I take a uh, take a moment to recover my darts, and I guess I'll I'll come to. Hmm? Oh. If uh, Diana is going, I'm going as well, since I am still attached to her very much. So yeah, it <laughs> takes you takes you a handful of minutes going down off the ox's foot. And then um, takes you an additional f uh, minute to go through the street, and then the child points at one of the, uh, well, kind of looking like close for the evening um, houses, as he kind of points, there, it, there, where, this is where I live, and uh, he kind of tries to get off you. Okay, I, then, I let him, I let him down, yeah, uh, but we'll uh, probably stay with him to let his yeah, yeah. parents, his dad. Um, parent, no. As yeah, singular parent. As, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as uh, you know, he knocks, and then a few seconds later, you hear this loud rumbling, and you see this human male, maybe in his thirties, uh, long beard, short hair. All of a sudden, looks. Tia, what? He kind of looks back. Just look at her again. And he kind of grabs by the hand and just kind of gets him inside. And he looks at all of you. Uh, uh, he didn't cause any trouble, did he? No, 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 don't no, worry. No, he's, he's fine. Um, yeah, just, he, he, 
just make sure he's okay. Uh, uh. Hello, I'm Red Zofitra. Uh, Red Zofitra? Uh, he kind of looks in panic for a second and seeing that he, he he's not in trouble, he kind of gives a smile and also says hello to Red Zofitra. Um, <laughs> just, uh, my thanks, masters, and then just kind of closes the door behind him. Sweet, um... I guess I you suppose... go back to the silver food. Let's. So yeah, uh, takes you about a few minutes, good four or five. Uh, everybody has cleared out. The um, the streets are basically ma mostly empty for except for a few stumbling drunkards from the tavern who are celebrating, and uh, of course the guard patrols who are having their torches out and just kind of making sure nobody's sleeping where they shouldn't or you know causing anything they shouldn't making to the to the um, silver foot the place half of the people is gone fully while other, the other half either half asleep on the tables the chairs or on the floor or still trying to drink but failing miserably uh, looking at the corner uh, where you got your original assignment, you see um, the familiar Lumpo still in a bunch of paperwork, a bit tirelessly yawning, and then looking around with a yawn, eyes you, and kind of looks at you just expectingly. Uh, is um, anybody gonna approach or because he's just kind of looking across the tavern yeah yeah we, we just we i think we all approach this guy yeah we all go together i think yeah and we're like i think we resolved this mm, 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 mm. heavy now so what was the deal what happened to ghosts ah ghosts. ghosts uh source of the ghosts some kid's dead mom. And maybe some cats? But we're not his parents. We took uh. the- we, there was a kid. He was being haunted by his dead mother. But we dealt with the spirits and took the kid back to his father. Mm -mm -mm. He kind of- you see as he's like kind of paying full attention with his right hand, he seemingly just- Riding everything, not even looking or trying to correct himself, and everything is impeccable on the paper as he's writing almost like a report of what happened, basically following your thing. And then he kind of listens, nods. Anything interesting? Any findings? Anything I should report? Not that I know of. Yeah. Not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I agree. Seems Can I get something simple. to eat? <laughs> I I reach I reach into my cloak and I decide to show him the book that I recovered. We did find this. We did. We did. We did. Uh, I didn't think it was a good time to bring it up while we were still dealing with the child. He kind of he kind of he kind of extends the hand, like kind of reaching out. May I? I'd be careful. I hand it to him. He kind of he kind of takes the first, just opens the first book page widely, and then immediately closes it. Kind of taps his fingers. Yeah, that would make sense. Not even need to read through it. I can immediately tell that this is probably the source of it. <laughs> Some. Depending on the severity of this text, a particular composition might be uh, needed to to be paid to you for acquiring such an interesting item. <laughs> I'm sorry, but at this moment I don't have either the funds or an authority to do so. Um, 
but I shall be making my way to Palace uh, probably in like two days. And if you wish to see me, or I guess the main office is there in like two or so weeks, um, you should be compensated for retrieval of this tome. But he kind of taps the table, never t taps the table hardly. Nevertheless, an assignment was given, and an assignment has been done. By all means, you successfully did your first job. And then he kind of goes over the table, flips a few notes, and then he grabs a handful of pieces of paper. Now, these are papers verifying that you are part of the Mercenary Guild of Cujo and can take bounties. Uh, jobs, agreements across the empire, but no legal repercussions, of course. Um, as he kind of hands each one of you, um, each individual piece of paper, which has your names, how you said it, uh, and basically small text that by uh, Detective Lumpo's authority, the test has been given and has been done successfully in the needed parameters and thus have succeeded and basically are granted um Orgus granted to be part of the guild uh as uh, he kind of gives you all says there is a room that i have bargained for for this little task of yours uh upstairs uh should fit five six people so i don't think you have a problem and you are free to stay in this place for three days food included and uh good he kind of nods oh uh, thank you welcome to the mercenary life as he kind of okay. gets off the chair stretches and kind of nods to all of you as he gathers the papers and starts to walking uh, upwards is down up the staircase. Oh, hey. I can um, heal Resifitra. Yeah, I, just I, can also, I could heal as well. Ah, if you want to bad. use, can do use a spell. Like, I mean, we're going to rest I, anyway. So I mean, I've got lay on hands. I was, I got, like, I got you just like poke her. I got, I got healing hands. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, all, uh... of sudden, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the um, um, Detective Lumpo kind of loudly exclaims, walking halfway through the staircase. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, if you need a place to start, or a uh, general direction where to find jobs, look for boards all around, anywhere in the Empire, in the inns, in crossroads. Uh, region boars and whatnot, and he kind of points by the fireplace to the side a bit. And there's even one there if you need some pointers. Well, mm. best of luck to you and good night as he kind of continues upwards to the second Goodbye. floor. Good night, sir. I'm. Um, I'm, as... I'm. I want to sleep. As you, uh, hey. as you heal her. Um... She uh, looks at you very fascinated and is like, uh, Huh, I always need to spit on that to heal. Uh... I... No comment. No I, comment. I can just... Look, I just place my hand on, on Reservitra and heal her. It's... yeah. Well, while that's happening, I kind of turn to everyone and I say, I really can't stop thinking about the way that book was found. Someone had to put it inside the body after she was dead. Oh, indeed. Uh, uh, Fedra uh, nods uh, eagerly while she is visibly resisting the urge to uh, eat the paper that she just received. You... you don't it's hard think... to ignore such profanity. Perhaps we should investigate with the family. The family very weird. might... No, but they're also dealing with the loss of mother is it yeah, proper yeah we, should, we should ask for permission to uh investigate the grave so we take her back out 
Not yet. Not Seems not like someone gone. already did. It... Maybe they left some over. God. Anyway, <laughs> we should rest now. You two! And, uh... Who's you two? Rest of the <laughs> Oh, right. I thought you meant you two. Like, not you as well. Uh, Vesafidra puts the uh, paper like inside her body at a place where it doesn't start dissolving. And uh, it's like, uh, by the way, what, what was that palace thing? Can you eat that? <coughs> uh, a palace is like a really big building that like someone lives in. Ah, a big, so big house. Not, uh... Yeah, a big, big house. Why would you need a big, big house? You're you rich your and have a in. lot of gold. You can buy a big, big house. But you could also buy food, so why would you buy a big, big house? God, I, I won't even continue this conversation. <laughs> I would just she going to, uh, to the room. very puzzled about this conundrum. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would just like go into like the room that we have. Yeah. Got rented for three days. And yeah, I'm it's, like, I'm, yeah, it's. I'm exhausted. A... I will sleep. Mm. Mm. Uh, it's been very nice to meet all of you. Um, I'm going to go to bed now as well. Wait, so... aren't we sharing like a room? Wasn't it like? That? Yeah, one one <laughs> giant room, and in that room, there is six beds, uh, two tables. Three chairs and uh, a small window that can be open or shut with some curtains, and uh, it's warm. It's nice. It's 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 summer. Damn. Okay. So, yeah, I'll I'll go off and and sleep. I yeah. Think. Yeah. So I turn to rest of Petra and be like, well, we should probably go to bed. And I kind of hold my hand up like I'm kind of shaking it a little bit. Um, Just watch her join you in bed. Oh, no. Uh, so Petra uh, beams at you and is like, oh, yeah, true. And uh, just starts walking towards the stairs while still being attached to you. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank God I was able to shake her off. Let's be honest here. <laughs> Well, so as everyone else goes up to bed, I wait until everyone else has gone upstairs. I decide that I'm going to go out back onto the town. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit quietly out of out of view, you know, as far away as I as I can and just watch the little boy's house for about an hour or two. Mm hmm. I'm oh, making sure he doesn't run out again. Um, so you saw when, um, just roll a perception check. A little bit of a stakeout. I like a proactive man. Let's go. Yeah. My perception kinda, sucks. I can I kind of get like. Nah, no, you're good. Yeah. I kind of get Sundara vibes with Valentine. So, <laughs> um, well, you saw you saw when you were leaving that. There was like a small light, probably a torch lit up, and you saw, you know, some, some, you know, shadows. And when you come back, which been like good 15 minutes, you still see some shadows, um, light flickering. And then, um, after five minutes, it just shuts off. Um, and you stay for, say, two hours. Time passes. Uh, local guards making patrols, meeting two of them, just kind of marching in, in pairs of trees. The house, which is, which you assume is like maybe three, four room, single story building. Uh, nothing, not a, not a movement in the, in the windows. Not, nobody brought a torch again, nobody sneaking out. Hmm. Well, it was worth a sh it was it was worth looking into. 
Oh yeah, looking looking at the ox's food because you can see from where you're standing, you see that it, there's no you know glare of green or anything. So you know it's not like ah, oh, it's back on again. <laughs> Valentine brushes off the incident as sometimes monsters just exist and returns to the inn and goes to bed. Okay. <laughs> so. Wow. With that, I think that's a good place to stop session one. Yes, that would yeah. be perfect. It would be very perfect, yes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, got demon cursed, woo! So, oh. you did pretty well. You achieved the rank of uh, mercenaries, your adventurers, officially. And additionally, yeah. you are level two, everybody. Congratulations. Let's go. Woo! Yeah. Now I need to redo my character sheet again! <laughs> Woohoo! Now I get to do weird shit! Even more weird shit! Yay, survived! So... Exactly. Yeah, that is that is the end. And then next week, similar time, without without a sore throat, uh, adventuring is afoot and now you can go wherever you want! The world is your oyster. Game is afoot. Don't get don't get don't get killed. Um. So the <laughs> the same. I have to get killed. No, no, no. Oh, no. So the same same thing I say to every single person as or I guess every single session as I do at the beginning is a simple thing of thank you everybody for watching. Thank you to the players for being patient. And is there anything you wish to say? For the next 20 seconds, before I'm shutting the stream down with no survivors. <laughs> see you next Friday. Mm. Yeah, yeah, true. See you next. See you next. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get a, a snag as well. I didn't die first encounter. Me. Woo! Let's... Oh. <laughs> Better bite the goo. <laughs>